What's up guys? As you see, I'm standing in the hole where the big blue box was and you guys know that I sold it and I've ordered a new one. Well, I've had a ton of comments of people asking, what box did you go with? Which brand did you pick? When's your box gonna be here? What color is it? All of that good stuff. So today's the day that you guys get to see it. So without any further ado, let's take a look at this thing. All right guys, so I thought, man, I need to come up with a cool and interesting way to, you know, show everybody my box. And I thought, hey, I'll show the box and we'll put one of those big censored black boxes over it, you know, where you can't tell what it is. And I thought, man, that's not really fair to these guys. They've been waiting a while to see what box I picked and I just don't want to do them that way. And then I thought, hey, I'll show the box and we'll put one of those scrambled, digitalized, censor looking things on it you know where you can kind of tell what it is but you can't tell what it is and i thought man i don't want to do those guys that way either maybe i'll just show the box coming off the truck you know with a lift gate or maybe show the truck unloading the box where you can't tell what it is then i thought nah i don't want to do those guys that way either so hey i'm just going to show you the box here it is you're gonna like it Alright guys, so there it is. You got to see it. It's the Matco 6S, 31 inches deep, pale horse white powder coat with the bright blue trim. It is the triple bay with two side lockers, top box, and power drawer. Really nice box and Matco Michael's here and he's going to go over a lot more of the detailed features of the box and that way you guys can learn a little bit about the 6S. Alrighty guys, so we're here with Clay's new box. Um, it's gonna be the 6S three bay uh, with the top chest and with the lockers on each side. The color is gonna be the pale ho uh, horse white um, with the bright blue trim. So on this box, we went all out. We, you know, we didn't, we didn't spare anything. We got it with the power. It has the power drawers. Uh, the actual top two have security drawers in them. Uh, so he can lock stuff in the top two drawers. You can pull them out and show uh, them if you want to. Yeah, so we got them to where they lock. Of course, we went 30 inches, uh, 31 inches deep with this one. So it's a good, nice, long drawer. Comes all the way out. Um, plenty of room to put stuff in there and lock it up. And some of the shops that you work at, that, that that's important. That's always a good feature. Having two is even better. Um, on this one here, uh, with the side lockers, and the box, the box normally comes uh, right at, I think, uh, 86 and a half uh, in length. Uh, the width of it, of course, is 31, and then the height from the top of it to the bottom, it's gonna be 48 inches. Um, it's got the eight inch casters with a spring on it, that way when we lock the brakes, it's locked. We ain't gotta worry about that. Uh, one thing that we have started doing on these is we match the trim with the badging and the locks. So as you can see, it looks really nice, great color. Um, top chest here, we of course we went 31 too, but we went with a just a basic setup up top. We went with Clay's box with all the tools he's got, we went for more space rather than you know more gadgets and stuff. Uh, there's a couple different ways you can set them up, but we went for more space. Uh, with the, t the way the toolbox is set up right now, it's gonna have 18, yeah, 18 drawers. You can go to a maximum of 25 drawers, but with, with you changing that and stuff, uh, I went for more area to put stuff. Uh, we wanted to have a couple more big drawers, that way we could put more sockets, more wrenches, more ratchets uh, as well. 
uh, up here I think you can go to like 25 I believe uh, I'll look in just a second alrighty so on the slides it's gonna have two on the big drawers those are actually rated for 232 pounds um, so I'm not gonna stand in it because it ain't my box but as you can see with all the heavy duty sockets and stuff like that it's not gonna have a problem handling it uh, your smaller drawers are gonna have one so these here have one on each side, but all your bigger drawers, I have two. So for, for maximum weight, uh, same up here. The only space that they drop down is in the, lo in the side lockers. They drop down to 140. Um, but most of the time, your side lockers don't have your heavier sockets, your ratchets, and stuff like that. So all your heavy impacts and stuff like that, these drawers have no problem handling it. Now with that weight, as you can see, uh, we talked about the heavy-duty casters. They also got three, so that reduces the risk of the bowing in the middle. But also to reduce the bowing in the middle, we've got a fully welded up top at the bottom and the back T-support here. That's unique to our boxes, so we really like that. We also went ahead and added the kick plate on his box. What that kick plate does, it has, it is pretty. It does have micro tools on it. But also, if a box is going to get scratched from brooms whatever it may be it's usually right there so that just protects that that can get scratched up we can take it off order another one if we have to that's not no big deal speaking of paint uh this is actually a powder coat so it's more durable uh we like that fact uh we, we pay this much money for a box we definitely want it to be durable so casters again they're 2500 pounds is what they're rated at they're gonna have a chrome hub with a spring on them so good heavy duty there this box is actually made in uh, Jamestown, New York, so we, we do pride ourselves in that. Um, we went ahead on this box. If you order this box, uh, the bottom first, and then later on you add, you can actually go ahead and have them order you a full piece trim. So instead of having a gap where it had the factory trim here and then you added the trim up here we went ahead and did that just so we would have the full trim uh, we also had talked about we didn't know uh, clay's picky on his boxes uh, he we've heard that we don't like a big gap here as you can see our gaps not huge uh, but what i was actually going to do if the gap was more than clay's liking i was going to go ahead and get one of these also to go up here now i may have had to do some modifying on that um, but i would have been i would have willing to do that and most distributors will no problem but so if you got something that you don't like you know about our boxes when you're thinking about it get with your distributor we've sold so many of them there might be something uh, and that's what i was going to do i was just want to get this and i was going to cover the gap but turns out the gap's small enough that it doesn't bother him so we're all happy with it on the top the top chest the uh dimensions on it the capacity and everything maximum drawers is actually 24 i think i said 25 earlier but uh 24 is the max drawers there so one last drawer but that ain't no big deal uh the height of it is actually 24 and uh 0.6 inches and of course the width is the same as the box 86.56 so uh on that you can get these to where it has these on the side and then has like an open area here uh, like a regular hutch style um, again we were going for more drawers so this is how we went with that one um, the lockers they attach uh, pretty easily now when I say pretty easily I don't mean it's an easy process to get it up there but once you get it set on there it has a lip up top that grabs up top and then inside it actually has four bolt holes and then it actually has a clamp as well that goes on. So they're nice and secure. The handle does go on either side. Normally you put it onto the side where the, the swivel casters are at. That way you can control it. You're not gonna be moving this one a whole lot, but if you, got, if you have to move it, putting it on the end where it moves is probably the best option there. So we, of course we went with the blue here because Clay likes blue, but you can actually get this color in a multitude of colors. Alrighty, so as I talked about before, we're going to show you the, the, the trim colors. Uh, here's the orange. A lot of people like that orange. Um, it goes really well with a lot of different colors, but if you like orange, there's going to be it. 
you're going to have your red, which is a, like a candy apple red. We've talked about these before on the truck. Of course, that's the blue. Guys, I guarantee you when you look at it on the computer, yeah, this blue is like not going to look nothing like this. Uh, you're going to have your black, of course, and then you're going to have your green. So if any of those are your colors, you like them. Uh, you're going to have your silver as well. Silver is not my favorite. That's why I'm able to forget about it. I think uh, during high school when everybody liked chrome and stuff. <laughs> but uh, that's those. Um, I, of course, on the website, when you go to build uh, your toolboxes, this blue is not going to look anything like this. It's going to be this weird off shade of blue. I, I don't know why it's off so much. But like I said, I'll show you the colors that way you'll know. The only one I'm not going to have is the purple. Um, but... I think we've all seen the purple on my truck and stuff like that. But again, if for some reason when you're building your box online and you're wanting to see what it's going to look like, if that color looks off, get with your distributor and ask him if that's the actual color. Because more than likely he's built one in the past, he's seen it, or he can get you a picture of one that in real life. So we'll go to this one here. As you can see, we got plenty of room. Uh, these do pull out. Uh, and they pull all the way out. So... If you got something on the back of it, you can get back there with ease and get it out. Um, that's for the top one as well. And then we got the drawers here so that we can put drawers in there, uh, put whatever we need to. Again, those are going to be rated for less. Um, so as far as these go, uh, you got 232, but here you're going to have 140. So keep that in mind. Uh, I don't think you're going to overload it just for the fact that most of the time you're not going to your side lockers but it's nice to have them so you'll have those there uh, and then you can tell here the way it snaps and locks so one thing that i do like about our side lockers is when we shut it we don't rely on just the lock so therefore if i close it during the day it don't have just just the lock we're gonna have like a hook style here that's gonna catch it and it's going to keep it in now one important thing that i did skip over on the slides um, these here uh, not only do these have the adjuster knobs on them they're also going to have that on your regular drawers as well so therefore if these drawers if your floor is a little unlevel you can turn them up so they won't open by themselves but also when you put a whole lot of weight in there, that's when you'll notice that usually they'll start opening a whole lot easier and they kind of just come open all at once. You can take those slides, turn it up, make it to where they almost feel locked. And then we're just gonna go to the uh, drawers. We're actually gonna have the power drawer here. So not only do we have power here and here, we're also gonna have power here. Um, this is great for exactly the way it's set up here your chargers uh it's a nice deep drawer so you can charge your batteries with the battery on them close it up uh and of course no i don't think any battery company really suggests charging overnight when you're not around it so it does actually have a switch that you can cut it off that way you can be safe and you don't come in and your box be going along with a shop right right these badges here, we can get more, so if you like them, uh, you can put another one on that drawer. Um, we're also going to be getting a, because he uh, designed this box itself, we're going to get a custom made for. Um, I didn't want to order it right away because I didn't want him to stick it on at the factory. I wanted him to be able to put it where he wanted to. Um, but other than that, uh, if I left out something that you want to know, uh, either shoot me a message uh, and I can get back with you or get with your Maco dealer and he can get with you too. There's way too many different options that you can go with these for me to go over it. Of course, you're gonna have your two bays, your single bay. Uh, you're gonna have, up, as far as from here up, you're gonna have a lot of different options. You're gonna have different options on your lockers too. You can get half lockers and other stuff like that. So way many, too many different options for me to really go over. Uh, or to remember so I use my computer a lot on that but get online to the configurator build the one that you like see how you want it get with your distributor and see what kind of deal he can make on you 
Um, you want to talk about the wait time on these? Because so, it's yeah. a little while. You well, know? yeah, the wait time on this one, that's kind of the hard part about this. Uh, we've had to keep it secret for a good little while right now. Um, one of the reasons being is we've had a really good year of boxes. Not only have we had a really good year of boxes, but of course with the virus and the shutdowns and the protocol, um, everybody knows if somebody gets sick, you got to do tracing and stuff like that. So that's put us a little behind. I think right now on a custom order box, if you do something just really original and that's yours, uh, you, you don't want nobody else to have it, it's going to take you about eight weeks right now. Um, but if you get something that they normally keep in stock, you're looking at around six. So, you know, if, if it was me, I'd get what I wanted. Exactly right. Because two more weeks. I That's mean, what we did, you know. Yeah. I mean, it sucks to wait a little longer, but. Oh, it definitely does. Um, but you got to understand they're trying to do everything they can. I think they just had to shut down again like two weeks ago um, to do some cleaning and stuff and some inventory. Um they are working overtime. They are working more hours, extra days to try to catch up. So at the same time, they're not trying to um, stay behind, but they're not trying to just, they have to go by state law. So yeah. with that, there is some delays, but six to eight weeks to have the box that you want, just make sure it's the one that you want and make it, make it unique, make it the way you want it. Um, talk with your distributor. I think every distributor out there right now is pretty much up front about that. Um, if they can tell you that they can have your box built into you to tomorrow, call me because I want to know his secret. Exactly right. <laughs> but uh, I think everybody's pretty much used to telling people. Uh, I've got people on my route that have bought boxes previous and wanting like top drawers and stuff. Um, I know there's, I think there was a short video where our toolbox plant works a while back, but they do it um, by order and then so. When it goes through, you basically have to get in line and, and they'll do it. Um, with the Revels and stuff, that's kind of unique. You might see a little bit more of a delay because it's a totally different process. Um, the, the whole way that it's welded and everything else is different. So just give your distributor. He can call up, see about how long. Um, like I told him, as long as the quality is there, I'm good with a little bit of wait time. Yep. But... Uh, Anything else that you can think of? Uh, I'm sure I've missed something, guys. There's so much to talk about on these boxes between the different colors that you can get, uh, the different sizes. Uh, in fact, I'll tell off on myself. When I was first telling Clay how long it was, I was saying 72 inches, and it's not. It's, it's 86. So um, there's so much to try to remember. When I sell these, I normally pull them up on my computer. So you do the same. Pull them up on your configurator. Look at it. You know, measure in your shop, see what you need, see what you want, and uh, we can probably make it happen. There you go. All right, guys. Like always, thank y'all for watching the video. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this one because that box is cool. <laughs> <laughs> like always, guys, hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. If you want a Matco box, their configurator online is a lot better than many of the other companies. So there you go. Check them out. But y'all be good, and we'll catch you next time. See ya. You can't tell me that that ain't a pretty box. That right there, she fine. <laughs>